Hello everyone, this is a quick video in understanding files and folders and how to organize your files and folders so that uh, when you have hundreds of files, it's difficult to find them. So by organizing it into folders, it will make your life a little easy. I find that a lot of people who are new to computers or never got a chance to learn computers in school or college, they tend to have a difficulty understanding this concept. So I'm hoping in the next 5 minutes or 10 minutes maximum, I can give you a really good idea of how to work with it. So the simplest way to understand the ideas of files and folders is to look in your own personal life. When we get different bills for our credit card bills, tel telephone bill, water bill, we try to create a folder and we label it cell phone bill. And then we put the cell phone bill in that folder. Then we'll have another folder called credit card visa bill. And then the visa bills will go in there or the savings account. So we try to organize it. Now the same idea applies to computer. By default, in your computer, you'll have a My Document. So I'm just going to click on this yellow symbol here in the corner. I'm using Windows 7, so I have that option. In Windows XP, you will see a option around here on the left-hand side that will say My Documents or something like that. So I'll just click this so it opens up this option. And here I can double-click on documents. Now here I've got the some folders which are created automatically and I have some files like Excel files, Word files and I want to organize this. So the first thing to think about is if you were doing this in your personal life the first step you have to do is you have to go and buy the folder and then label it. So I want to create a folder in this documents folder. So I can use this button here called New Folder. In, in Windows XP, you will see on the right hand side a option here somewhere that will say Make New Folder or Create New Folder. You'll see a, a folder-like symbol in yellow color. So you point to it and it will tell you what it will do. So, And the other way to do is you right click here and you go to New and then there is an option to create folder which is available in all version of my Windows operating system. So either way you click on new folder now it comes up like this. In XP a window may pop up asking you a question maybe. Now here say I want to create a folder for word files. I hit enter after typing the name. Now I could just drag the file left click and hold it and drop it in it. Now you see that file has been moved in there. So you can do it like that. Now if you want, had like lots of Word files and you wanted to highlight it all together, there are two tricks you can use. One is, if I wanted to select this file all the way up to this Edge file, I click on the first one and I hold the Shift key and I click on the last one. So everything from that file to that last file is created. So again I'll try this. Click on the first one and I go to the last one, hold the shift key and I click it. So it highlights everything. Now you can drag it, left click and hold it and then you can drag it to that folder. That's one way of doing it. But now if I wanted to highlight files which are not next to each other, which are after some files, so if I click on say this word files and I hold the control key on the keyboard. While I'm holding the control key, I click on this word file and then this word file. So as you are holding the control key, you click on the file. You can let go of the mouse after the click, but keep holding the control key as you are clicking on it. Now, once it's highlighted, you can let go of the control key, left click and hold the mouse on it, and then drag it. So now you see those files are gone. I'll do the same thing with Excel. I can right click, new folder, and I'll call it Excel files and enter. Now, if you want it, you could right click on it and then you can cut it or copy it. Copy would mean leave a copy here and then you have to paste it in that folder. If you choose cut, means remove it from here and put it there. So if I choose copy, I can double click on this folder. I can right click here and I can hit paste. I can use the back arrow to go back. In XP you might see an up arrow somewhere. 
in Windows 7 I can even click on this documents button so now if I want I can click here I think I copied and pasted it let me make sure a Excel file yeah I copied it so I still have the original file here so if I right click here and I choose cut and I double click on this I right click here and I choose paste and I go back now that file is not there because I choose cut and paste so you can use this dragging options and also copy and cut and pasting options to create it so remember the first step is to create the folder now you can do this anywhere you can go to your pictures folder and you can start creating folders here because a lot of time if you start having pictures from different trips you'll find it difficult to find the picture from a trip you took five years ago by organizing it you can go to that trip right away because you can label it say Atlanta 2010 or Vancouver or whatever you where you went and the year next to it so that's a good way to organize and you can view your pictures completely like in X Windows 7 I can click here and I can choose to view it in list or I can view to see it in medium icons or large icons in XP you will see a menu on the top called view and you can view things like that and you can use that everywhere if I'm in documents I can view it like this or I can view it as medium so you'll find there are different ways of viewing with documents you might find list works better so so this is the way you organize your files I just want to talk about how to save your file and as you are saving it how to create folders and to save them so I'm just going to close this I'll start Microsoft Word and say I'm going to just start typing something here and this is my test word file now when I hit save which you can do it from the save button on the top or you can click on file and hit save in Windows 2007 you've got the round office button here on the left hand side now when you hit save for the first time word wants to know two things save where which is on the top in the previous version of Microsoft Word, uh, Windows you see save in which is the same thing and the name of the file by default all your files are saved in the documents folder which is a good thing because when everything is in one place when you are doing a backup that is you want to have an extra copy outside the computer you only have to make a copy of this one folder so say I want to save it in the word file folder then there is this I just double click here and I can save it here and give it any file name I'll just come back if I did not have the folder then I need to create one say for example I wanted to create a folder called test word file for example now I can use this new folder option and in Windows XP look for a yellow symbol on the right hand side in this window and when you point to it it will say create new folder and if nothing else you can always right click new and then choose folder and I can call it test word files so I, I double clicked on it or hit enter on it because it should say test word file so that this file will be saved in that folder and I can click save I'm gonna close this word file and I'm gonna to go to my folder which you can go through my documents to or your name documents and I go to documents and here I should have the test word file and there is my test word file now if you wanted to rename it you have to rename right click here and you can rename it you can also delete it from here but make sure you close the word file or Excel or whatever it is you have to close it before you can rename it I can even go back and I can rename this folder I can delete this folder I can I can even drag this folder into this word files folder so now within the word there is that folder so you can organize your work like this you can always drag and drop things around or cut and paste things around if you wanted to organize your files properly so this was a quick video on files and folders
If you had any more questions, you can leave a message uh, in the comment section. I'll try to answer it. Thank you for watching.